Hey guys, um, it is Carmen Moses, the uh, uh, performing arts director um, from Jesse Norman School of the Arts, um, as well as visual artist. So we are going to try to finish up our Jesse Norman painting today. Only well, we got just a few details. Um, I actually finished the background yesterday, uh, not on camera, because I did the thing where I get into the zone like really heavily and completely forget. <laughs> um, but uh, if you were watching yesterday, you kind of saw how I did this um, sort of multifaceted jewel background. So we're going to be working on uh, uh, throwing in some details and doing a little bit of uh, corrective things here and there. Um, I want to share something with you guys today. Um, this is one of my daughter's favorite books. We have a really huge collection of children's books. So um, if anybody needs to pick me up or you're interested, <laughs> be happy to read some books uh, for you. Um, but this one's called Ellie in Concert. Um, and there's another one. Uh, there's another Ellie book. And the first Ellie book is about... Um, visual arts and this one's about music um so uh I, I just absolutely love this book and it's really cute and um she came up to me yesterday and asked me about some music that was printed on the back of the uh of the book and it's super super complicated for me because <laughs> she asked me if i can help her interpret it and um I, I can read basic music but this would probably take me hours upon hours to figure out so uh uh I, put out a call uh, to some people I know <laughs> to see if they could find me um, someone who could who could play that because we were interested in hearing it and couldn't find a recording. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me put this book up real quick. Okay. All right. So we are going to uh, listen to some more uh, music. Um, let's see. What do I want to listen to today? Uh, I think I'm just going to keep listening to the Brian Ferry Orchestra. I've been really, really enjoying listening to that. Um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying listening to it too. Um, and uh, got my brushes cleaned yesterday. Got my hydration here. So. I don't know about anybody else, but I get uh, really terrible migraines. And uh, I've been drinking a lot of soda lately, so I'm trying to uh, stave off some of the uh, dehydration. All right. Yeah, we got our brushes cleaned yesterday. Um, I'm actually going to put my drink far away from the mineral spirits because um, if you've ever painted and drank at the same time, it's a really, really good chance that you've accidentally stuck your brushes in your drink. Or gotten pretty close to it. All right, so I'm just using some um, odorless terpenoid, which I need to order some more. Um, so not using anything too, too, too heavy. It still has an odor to it, and you should still be spaced out. You know, have plenty of space while you're doing, um, uh, while you're doing uh, any kind of oil painting uh, or anything with mineral spirits or anything like that. Uh, however, um, uh, I'm in kind of a small, limited space, so I try to use something fairly odorless. Um, all right, put this into a better position for you guys so you can see as much of it as possible. I also finished parts of that globe last night as well. Um, I generally don't use uh, paint right out of the tube, uh, but I threw in a little bit of viridian green, um, a little bit of a, a brown that I mixed um, that included uh, burnt umber and some other things. And then a little bit of uh, cadmium yellow, uh, just to lay down in the background. And we're gonna put more clouds and stuff kind of emanating through her fingers. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for today: is just to uh, start working on details and making uh, small corrections. And I did mention that I kind of wanted to do her reflection, um, but I'm not sure. I'm feeling very less is more right now. Um, because if you see in the illustration, these are all reflections of, of her back um, and her side. But uh, um, I don't know that I'm feeling confident enough to uh, to do that without uh, without messing up some of the uh, some of the patterning that we already have. So um, I'll I will think on that. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Get my brushes. All right, where are we starting today? I think uh, start with these jewels, I think. 
I actually cleaned out my uh, my paint box because um, I thought I was running out of paint, but I found all sorts of paint and tools that I had been looking for, and that was really exciting. I actually found a whole tube of black that I didn't know I had, but um, I generally, like I said, I don't use black. I mix my own blacks, um, so I like them to be uh, kind of chromatic. All right, where is, where are my tools at? Looking for my palette knife. So apparently cleaning out my uh, supplies didn't help out a whole lot because now I can't find them. Does anybody ever notice that when they clean, things actually get worse? <laughs> oh, here they are. They were behind my laptop. Okay. Um, so here we're going to mix. going to mix up a black... Um, if you've been checking out uh, my previous videos, you can mix up a really quick black by um, using Burnt Umber and Ultramarine. And my Burnt Umber is pretty toasted right now. I lost the cap to it, so it's kind of weirdly intermittently dry. So honestly, the way it's looking, we may have to um, we may have to uh, use the two black, but. Again, I'm not a fan of using uh, paint straight out of the tube. It's a rookie move. I'm just trying to revive some of this uh, burnt umber and get some of that blue mixed in so we can come up with a black without having to use the two. All right, we're still in pretty brown territory here, so. A little bit more blue out there. Right. It's getting there. There's also really terrible lighting in this room, so I bet if I was outside, I'd be able to see this a little bit easier. So we're almost there, I think. And we can test this out by throwing a little bit of white in there. And if it goes gray, if it goes to a nice gray, then we're good to go. All right, we're still a little bit in in brown territory, but that's a lot better. So this is uh, burnt umber and ultramarine, and it'll give you a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice gray and a pretty nice black. All right, one. All right, so we've got a nice dark gray here. And again, we're just going to, um, we're going to start working on these jewels. We're gonna add some more around the rim. Um, I'm trying to make sure I take my time because I tend to rush things when I get really excited about them. So I'm trying not to do that. And then we have our liquid as well.
die in our graves there. I don't know if you can see it. We're working in this area right now.
So I was just marking off. There are seven, there's 13 jewels on the top of her uh, crown in the uh, in the photo. Uh, so I was marking them off um, so I can make sure they're really nice and accurate when we put them there. And there's also some other jewels in here that I'll have to look at. And there's a bunch of triangular jewels on this outside um, for the piece as well. <laughs> My baby's in the background. I'm gonna let this down a little bit, a little tiny bit lower. Oh, and of course my paintbrush gonna land on my keyboard. <laughs> I'm gonna let it down a little bit lower because I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing with the blue. And if you're just joining us, we are working on. Um, for jewels, we're working on embellishment, and um, honestly, I kind of feel like we're in a home stretch here, which is exciting, but I'm trying not to get too excited because I don't want to rush anything. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much in the home stretch. We've been working on this since last Friday or Saturday. So, about a week, maybe two to four hours each day. I'd say at least 30 hours on this so far. Ah, turn it down a little bit. I don't normally talk while I'm uh, while I'm painting, but um, I'm going to talk about today. Hello, Isabella. <laughs> So if you see there's a um there's an Isabel as well. So very cool. This is the day of the Isabella. We'll tell Isabella I said hello. Um and tell her I said thank you so much for watching. I love this costume too. I think the first time I saw Jesse Norman in this costume uh, online, I was just uh, I was just really blown away because um, it's so um, it's just it's just gorgeous. Um, I wish I knew who the designer was. I'll have to look that up because um, just uh, color contrast everything. Just it's it was it's a brilliant uh, costume worn by a brilliant performer and. Um, Super inspiring. Okay. 
My blue paint's still a little wet from yesterday, but it's kind of in this like nice sticky phase to where it's not um it's not super fluid. Um, we use liquid to thin it out and get it uh, get it to dry a little faster. So it might pick up some of the blue, but here that's going to be okay because if you're thinking about these jewels reflecting um, everything around, they're going to pick up some of those colors. Oh, thanks. But you're supposed to love me and compliment me, otherwise mom gets mad. <laughs> no, thank you. So we got those on the outside and take us another look at our reference picture wherever it seems to have ended up which in this office it could be anywhere okay. um, it's kind of hard to tell how many jewels are on that neck piece so i either need to use another uh another photo or i need to just make a make a guess All right, I'm going to use a little bit of white that's mixed with some blue. So for people watching right now, I've got I've got a question. Um, I'm kind of not sure what I want my next project to be, but I don't want to stop oil painting because I haven't done it in such a long time, and I feel like I'm I'm just really enjoying it again. So if there's something that you want to see me do, uh, let me know. Um, I'm thinking about starting another portrait project after this. Um, 
because re- I've been really enjoying the process of doing the Chris Norman portrait. So if you have an opinion or think uh, there's something that you'd like to see me do, uh, please let me know. Um, I do have uh, a new mask project um, that I'll probably be starting on next week. Um, but I would like to keep painting even if it's uh, only for part of the week. Um, Um, so we can, um, honestly, if there's something that is like specific that you want to see, um, I would be happy to teach it. Um, uh, so if, you know, we want to learn about, you know, drawing something specific or painting something specific or creating, um, I normally teach drama, um, but it's, it's proving a little bit, uh, kind of difficult, um, to kind of get into that mode, uh, with all this remote learning. So, um. I've been trying to uh, pursue other artistic avenues. Um, but yeah, if there's something that you want to see, we can do it. Um, and we normally teach, uh, I normally teach K through 12, um, both in homeschool and on our after school program. Um, so um, yeah, I would be, I'd be happy to uh, demo anything that is asked. <laughs> Um, and our other teachers would as well, absolutely. So uh, we do have uh, photography. We have another visual arts teacher. Um, well, the visual arts teacher um, who is who demonstrates resin pouring and all sorts of amazing things. We have our dance teacher as well. Um, so we can we can teach just about any subject. And get some more blue on this palette. What's fun is that the teachers end up learning just as much from each other. Um, you know, uh, we learn from the kids, we learn from each other, uh, as well as, you know, teaching. Um, so that's been, that's been uh, a fun, um, a fun environment. And that's why I love working for the school so much. You know, if I'm like, hey, you know, I need some help learning a piece of music, I can just, you know, walk over to the music teacher and get some help. Um, and, uh, or like, uh, I really like to rhinestone things. Uh, so I was showing the uh, uh, Miss Miss Ham, the uh, visual arts teacher, about rhinestoning, and now she's into it. Um, so there's like a lot of uh, a lot of crossing uh, of disciplines because um, we're all uh, we are all visual artists as well as performing artists uh, for the most part. Um, Or I will, I guess a more accurate statement would be we are all very multifaceted artists. Well, Miss Isabella, tell me what you like to paint and how you like to paint. What kind of paint do you use? Tell me about your painting. My daughter's just a little bit older than uh, Miss Isabella and she likes to paint and draw as well. Um, 
I always uh, I always have a chuckle. Sometimes she'll come in here and ask me for a pencil or something, and I'm like, you're asking an artist in an artist family for a pencil. Uh, take your pick. There's probably hundreds of pencils in here. You painted a Buddha or you want to paint a Buddha? Because uh, I could probably bust out a Buddha if you wanted to see me paint one one of these days. But I would like to see your, your work as well. So um, if, you, if anyone watching wants to show me uh, something that they're painting or, or something that they're working on, um, I would love to see it. I love seeing um, other people's artwork. Um, I love seeing my, you know, my students' artwork. Um, it's just a, amazing. You know, one person can't come up with every idea on the planet, obviously. So having a network of artists is very, very important. All right, let's see how these drills are looking. They're disappearing a little bit. Yes! Yes, you can show me, absolutely. Actually, I'll tell you what, Miss Isabella, if you show me, um, and if you don't mind, I would love to put that on our Jesse Norman page. Um, so that everyone can see it if you're not shy about it, which you should never be shy about your artwork. It right, looks like we lost some focus there. This camera likes to unfocus itself on a fairly regular basis. All right, so yeah, the jewels are disappearing a little bit into the background. Um, I think that will be probably fine once they dry because I'm gonna be adding um, a couple of more like shine layers to them. So we'll have to make sure that we differentiate those. Okay, where are we gonna go next? Um, I do have some small corrections to make, but I'm pretty sure all of my red paint is pretty dry. I've been trying to kind of stay in the same color family as I've been working, but we're gonna have to mix up some orange here in a minute. And what brush do I want to use? Mm, this one looks good. the radio uh, I listen to. I listen to Live by Live and um, it goes on to news every once in a while. I just have to skip over it. I'm like, oh, I don't want to hear any news. I just want to focus on beautiful and happy things. All right, now I'm mixing up a little bit of a lizard and crimson, a little bit of cadmium red to warm it up, and a little bit of cadmium yellow. Jumping over here onto our page real quick. <laughs> I'm 
what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to create a little bit of a shadow here. So I'm actually going to fill in just a teeny tiny bit of the uh, ultramarine. Come on, because we have some areas here that need to be shadowed a little bit better. We don't want it to look like one big yellow orange mask. We want to make sure that there's a nice differentiation between this headpiece um, and this sort of halo neck back piece. Oh, she did? Cool. All right, did you send it to our inbox? Or did we post it? Let's see. <laughs> All right, I'm looking on our page here. All right, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Chrome tag. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to look under our live video here. So it's funny, like, watching myself live because there's, like, a little bit of a lag. I'm looking for your picture, Miss Mina. moving a little slow today. You put it in the post. Okay. Looking, 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 looking. So I'm using a streaming software, so I'm not sure if it's not showing me. Um, ah, maybe that's it. Three patients, guys. It was moving like super slow. It might be because I'm streaming as well. Oh, boogers. I don't see it, Miss Isabella. Um, we'll see if it, maybe it's going to pop up here in a second. <gasps> there it is. All right. It was just taking forever, man. Now look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful work, man. Now, I don't know about you, but I can get lost in uh, in artwork for a while, so I'm just like staring now. Oh, beautiful. Yep. 
your roses are so good. And all right, now you said you were seven years old. I'm not sure I believe it. I kind of feel like you're maybe you're a professional artist and you're pulling my leg a little bit. Just letting you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this is gorgeous, Miss Mina. Great, uh, uh, great job, Isabella. Wonderful. Very good roses and good gradients there. I love your wood grain. Is there a story behind this piece? Um, I would love to hear that. And I'm actually going to, if you don't mind, I'm going to keep your artwork up um, while I'm working on mine so everyone can see it. But that is just so pretty. You're almost eight, huh? I still think you're a secret professional artist, but that's just me. Um, Miss Mina, Miss Isabella, where are you guys from? Are you guys local? You have more art? Well, um, you know I'm going to want to see it. So uh, feel free to send whatever um, you would like, and I would love to uh, to share that as well. You're from Dallas. Woo, way out there, huh? <laughs> we are in Augusta, Georgia. So all the way. Well, I guess you guys are in the middle, huh? <laughs> no problem, guys. Oh, you guys live in Augusta, too? You're from Dallas. Okay. Very cool. A 
but we've got some plans to um, do some more online courses and uh, also a virtual summer camp. Um, so if you guys are interested, um, you can uh, send us a message or check it out because um, I can already tell you the art teacher would love you. <laughs> All right, so I think that, that looks a little bit better on the shadow there. All right, and Miss Isabella, I'm gonna give you some tips um, for when you paint. Whenever you blend, you always wanna use a very clean, very dry brush. Um, I learned that in my 30s. So <laughs> um, see if that'll maybe give you a leg up on your painting when you, when you hit college. <laughs> All right, and I think I'm going to do the same shadow on this side, too. To get back to the world, you guys will have to come visit the school someday. Oh, let me see what time it is. Okay, we've got about seven minutes left before um, Mary starts her dance class. So I'm gonna finish up this shadow and then uh, I'll probably finish up the rest this weekend, um, get you guys a video and an image of the end uh, product and it'll be quite lovely, I think. <laughs> Oh, another tip, Miss Isabella, that I found: drawing straight lines is easier with a flat brush than with a round brush. So, round brushes look like this. Flat brushes look exactly like they're described, flat, and they're really, really good for doing straight lines. I figured that out the hard way too. <laughs> I'm gonna get our clean, dry brush back out. All right, and that just makes your pop right out of that background. Awesome. You have glass pens? I'm so jelly. I've been wanting, I've been wanting one of those. I have so many art supplies in this house, so I think if I bought another one, I'd uh, probably lose my mind. Or not. <laughs> yeah. But that is really awesome. I've seen glass pens before. They're so, they're so pretty.
All right, I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Um, thank you again, Miss Isabella, for showing us your artwork. It's fabulous. I'm going to post that to the JNSA page in just a moment. Um, but here's where we are at right now. We are, uh, like I said, we're in the home stretch. I'll go ahead and put it up on the, um, on the easel so you guys can see the whole thing. So yeah, here is where we are at at the end of this session and this weekend this will be finished um, and then next week we'll be moving on to a different project um, and yeah just a little we're just at this point we're just doing very small details so I would I would probably say another two to four hours on this painting um, but thank you guys so much for uh, for joining me this week this has been um, an absolute joy just to uh, I mean, I, I feel and look like a visual artist for the first time and, you know, <laughs> and I don't know how long, so it's been quite lovely. Um, but uh, thank you so much, Miss Mina and Miss Isabella for joining us as well and for sharing your artwork. Um, we are going to have some brand new um, coursework up on the website very soon, so you'll be able to get some of those art lessons in. Um, but if you have any art questions or need advice, please, please, please check out um, our JNSA art group. Um, I don't have a link for that uh, right now. Ciao. Um, and uh, we can, uh, we can you know, give advice or look at your artwork or anything like that. And uh, you can contact us on our main page. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for today. You guys enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Um, and take care of yourselves and each other, um, which I'm pretty sure that's somebody's catchphrase already. Isn't that Ellen's catchphrase? I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, take, uh, take care of yourselves, guys, and keep on making beautiful art. Um, and sharing it with us, okay? All right, bye. I'm trying to do my heart thing. It's not. It's not working because my hands are super messy. <laughs> bye, guys.